This is a good day. I'm excited. Last year this time, I went to my first college graduation. Don't worry, I did graduate from college. But my graduation was rained out. And so it was really special for me to see some of the students that I have spent time getting to know walk across this stage and move on to the next phase. So, your papers are written, your exams have been taken, your time in college is drawing to a close. Now, not only can you get some sleep, sleep's important, but you can take a breath and reflect on your accomplishments, and that's more important. Right now, you may be thinking ahead to what's next. Where will you work? Will you move? Will you miss writing papers? Anyone? It happens, you'd be surprised. That's how you end up in grad school. So, questions about what next probably feel urgent right now. Of course they do. But I encourage you to take a moment and think about what you've already done and what it means to you. You've got some, the next few years, you're gonna have some tough decisions to make. You may have some hard times. Throughout my life, when I'm faced with tough questions or hard times, I always return to the more basic questions, the knowledge of self. It's an example of why we study child and adolescent development right now. We want to understand. So who am I? What's important to me? Looking back on the choices we make, the good ones, but more importantly, the ones that maybe didn't work out so well, this feeds that inner voice that will guide you in the future. So who are you? What's important to you? This is a perfect moment to think about those questions. And you're all going to have different answers, obviously. But you all have a couple of things in common. One, you're college graduates. And you're Chad graduates. And this tells me a couple of things about you. First, being a Chad graduate means you're caring. You have chosen to dedicate your time to learning how to support children and families. And being a Chad graduate means you're persistent. You've studied, you've read countless articles, written countless papers, taken exams while juggling work, family, relationships. You don't get here without being persistent. So as you face the questions of what's next, what should you do? What can you do? Remember that you've demonstrated these important qualities time and time again. Caring and persistence are going to serve you really well. But what I hope most of all is that being a Chad graduate means you're curious. My greatest joy, why I love teaching, is when I see it's a furrowed brow. Someone's looking, it kind of looks like I'm, they're looking at me like I'm crazy. Um, but then it's followed by this question. Wait, what if? What if this happened in another place? What if it didn't work that way? And I know they're curious and they're thinking. To me, curiosity is one of our great gifts. It makes life more interesting. When you're curious, you're interested. But more importantly, it helps us solve problems. I don't know how many of you have spent time with teenagers, but if you have, you've probably said something along the lines of, what were you thinking? Because teenagers make some baffling choices sometimes. But if you're tr truly curious about the answer to that question, what was he or she thinking? Why do they think that way? That's when you start to get the answers and you can help them. So, whether your curiosity is piqued by the teenage brain, as mine is, or how babies develop language, or why toddlers have tantrums, or what helps families thrive, or something else altogether, as you think through your next steps, be sure to listen to that little voice inside that tells you when you're curious. That's going to be the right direction to follow. As the next generation of teachers, educators, mentors, police officers, social workers, nurses, whatever you choose to do, you're going to have the opportunity to make the world a better place. With caring and persistence, you're going to do good. But when you combine those with curiosity, you will constantly strive to do better. So, on the final note, I want to share my belief in each and every one of you. When I ask my students, why are you a Chad major? The most common answer I get is that you believe that children are the future. And I agree. But, and 
while you are no longer children, even if you feel like it sometimes, from where I sit, you're a big part of our future. What you do, how you live, how you work, how you contribute to your community, that's going to shape that future. So with that, I say congratulations, you did it. Congratulations, families. Always strive to do better.